This is a 100 watt VHF amplifier and I've hooked it up to this repeater here to get a little bit more power output on one of the repeaters that we run. So I had to do a couple of mods to actually get this to run. This is an X paging transmitter. So it's actually good for 100 watts continuous duty cycle. I've got it hooked up here to my service monitor. The only problem is, is this thing only allows a 60 watt input. So what I've got is I've got a isolated T here, which runs through. Um, so I've got my, my load here, which again, and also this can't handle 100 watts. So I've, I'm a bit hamstrung with that too. But anyway, this taps off. It's about 40 something dB down so that I don't blow the front end of this um, out. But uh, I've been testing this and to get it to work, I've had to take some wires out. Uh, the, this is the transmit exciter in the repeater. And you can see here that I've put a SMA, uh, sorry, not an SMA, whatever these are. I think these are MCX connectors or something, which runs down the side here into the back onto an SMA. And then this SMA then runs down and into and driving the amplifier. So this exciter provides probably about 100 milliwatts of RF drive into this amp. And then uh, eventually we get 100 watts out. I've turned this all the way down to, I think it's about 50 milliwatts and you still get 100. I think you can get up to 120 milliwatts, uh, sorry, 120 watts of drive out of that thing, which is pretty good. Um, and then... I've also got uh, amplifier switching, so that's what that white wire is. And then also I needed to wire in uh, some form of power control. So I've got a little 1K pot here with a five, I've tapped off this five volt regulator. So there's about one and a half volts there, produces about hundred watts out. It's all a bit dodgy, um, just wires hanging out the back, plugged into the original cabling. Um, I tried to do that so that if it ever failed, we've got a couple of these, if it ever failed, I could just swap it out um, without having to do too much, really. This runs off 28 volts, so there's a little power supply underneath here, which is a 28 volt power supply that produces 10 amps that will drive this. And the next thing I need to do is I need to get this fan switched with the PTT of the radio. So this fan doesn't automatically run. Um, it probably did when it was in a pager, um, set up with the original setup that it was in there was probably another control signal here on this on this wire here for for fan but for now there's no um, fan control so i'll probably if i run it all the time the fan's probably just going to fail but i need to do a uh, a soak test and for that i need a bigger dummy load and etc etc i have come across a couple of issues though with this one is it it's a bit strange when it's producing rf output power there's a strange click or pop on the output. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, there's, I also had to, it uses this funny connector on the back of the power supply. So I swapped that out for some Anderson power poles. So that's fine. And uh, let's let's fire it up. I've got my Kiwitz clamp meter here. This is awesome for measuring DC current. So I've just got it clamped over the red wire there. And if I turn it on now, this thing is ridiculously loud. Let's turn this on. So the fan's running in the back of the power supply. So if I power up the radio now, hook on the PTT, and we're doing 100 watts at about 7.8 amps. So it, it works. Now let's just see if I can hear the popping. Can't really hear it at the moment, so I guess that's a good thing. There it is, I just heard the click then. Probably didn't hear it over this fan, but there's a, a slight click. I don't know where it's coming from. It's not very audible, but you know, you notice these things when you're trying to tune them up. Okay, so that's that's getting pretty warm pretty quickly because this thing, it can handle 100 watts, but it can't handle it continuously all the time. So, um, but yeah, it's doing 100, which is good. Um, this is not hot at all, so which gives me a bit of uh, faith that it's going to be okay even if the fan did fail but ideally I probably want to get the fan running so yeah that's uh, that's a good little project and it's taking up a little bit of my time to try and get going but ultimately we'll have a little bit more power on this repeater which should be good and uh, luckily this thing runs at a site where it's already nice and loud so that fans not going to worry anybody I wouldn't want this running in the shack though if you want to learn more about repeaters, then I've done a heap of videos on them. 
it will appear right here now. You might learn something a little bit about setting up your own repeater, so check it out.